here at Heddingham Castle for the infamous Classics at the Castle Porsche Festival. A wonderful array of cars, old and new. Perfect example here, the number 23917 gave Porsche their first outright win at Le Mans in 1970. And beside me, again, the infamous Richard Atwood who drove this car to victory in 1970. Richard, big privilege to see you beside the car. Can you tell us a little bit about this car and what it was like to drive? Well, in the early days, the um, the first of the 917s were, were not very nice to drive because they were aerodynamically unstable, but this particular car became very stable and became a, a very good car. We had the small engine, so we actually didn't have the fastest car there at all. We had five litres or 4.9s, were much quicker than we were. But um, we ended up winning it because uh, everybody else seemed to have trouble. And um, in fact, after only 10 hours of the race, we were, um, we were in the lead, which was ridiculous because uh, didn't expect to be in the lead at any time but uh, and we then maintained that to the end so actually it was very uncomfortable to um, lead all the way through because if you're catching somebody it's much easier to to drive your race but to, to defend the lead is much more difficult and it was very wet that year as well so it was it was tricky compared to a modern Porsche what is the car like to drive well I mean if you're talking about a modern road car then of course it's uh, very physical um, no power steering, of course. Um, the engine was very critical, or uh, well, the gear was, gears were very critical that you actually had to make sure that it was in the gear because uh, there was no, there was very little margin if you missed a gear. Uh, and all works drivers actually managed to, to blow them up because uh, in, in a race situation you're grabbing a gear quickly and can easily miss it. Richard, there was a, a hugely important win for Porsche, but for you as a driver, how important was that in your career? Well, now uh, one looks back and uh, it's such a famous race. It's a much more famous race now, I think, even than it was then. And the significance of, of it to me well, was not borne out when, when we won. And, um, you know, the, the realisation, I suppose, didn't come to me. But I was uh, physically drained at the end of the race anyway. And I thought I was just a bit of a wuss. But in fact, I had, a, I had mumps in, in my neck. And so I couldn't really eat during the race. And uh, I went to the uh, dinner after the race and uh, I just could not stay awake and I had to leave the uh, celebration party. So that's how bad I was and uh, I really thought it was me, myself, on my own, but it wasn't. I had ailments that I didn't know about until I got home on Tuesday. It must be emotional for you to see the car. How do you feel when you see the car again? It's, it's like uh, a, a very familiar face or, uh, you know, it's, uh, but it's like an old friend. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, Richard, it's great to see you here. Big privilege to see you with the car, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Yeah, no, well, I'm sure we will. Yeah.